Welcome back, friends. It's Anders. Today, we are going to workshop a cocktail called the Brown Derby. Not the most enticing name, but this is a whiskey classic. And personally, I find it to be lackluster. So that means it is perfect to workshop. And when I say workshop, I mean we are gonna make a few different renditions of this drink, each one slightly different from the previous with an attempt to reach an end goal that is a cocktail we are happy with. Whether it is an original drink of yours or you found this drink in an old cocktail book and you don't think it's that great, which happens all the time. Actually, a lot of those old cocktails, they aren't that great. They need tweaking. Hopefully this helps you. If you are coming up with a new cocktail and you want to make it better, but you're not sure how, you can follow these steps. Today's sponsor is Still Austin. We'll talk about this a little bit later when we get into it. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button for more sips, tips, and recipes, and let's go workshop the Brown Derby. To the bar. The Brown Derby cocktail dates back to the 1930s, Hollywood, California, and it was created at the Vendome Club. However, this cocktail was named after a neighboring restaurant called the Brown Derby. Why was the Brown Derby restaurant called the Brown Derby? Well, it was shaped like a derby hat that was brown. It was this big brown lump that was hanging out in Hollywood and everybody loved it. It was a very popular place. In fact, they had multiple locations. Anyway, the story is kind of crazy because it was, this drink was invented somewhere else in honor of their competition. If that's not interesting, this is interesting. At the same time, in uh, Harry Craddock's Savoy cocktail book, you find this cocktail, but it was not called the Brown Derby. It was called De Rigueur, De Rigueur. It was, it's a French word. It's a cool name, but it didn't stick. Brown Derby stuck. That's what we're making today. Huh? That's the history, not bad. Now the booze. Okay, yeah, I need my little mat. Love this little mat. This little mat makes every, every episode. I have one here at the studio. I have one at my apartment too, because it's wonderful. And I always leave a link in the description down below for this very mat. For the original Brown Derby cocktail, we are gonna need bourbon pink grapefruit juice, freshly squeezed, and a honey syrup. This is a honey syrup, three to one, three parts honey to one part water. The idea is just to thin it out because it's much easier to work with than straight honey. Now let's talk about whiskey. The bourbon I'm using is the Musician Straight Bourbon from Still Austin. If you haven't guessed already, they are distilled down in Austin, Texas. Still Austin is a grain to glass distillery, meaning they locally source 100% of their grains for their whiskeys, and they send the spent grains to local ranchers to feed their animals, and their animals eat it. That's the circle of life. They're focused on sustainability, and their distillery is designed for energy efficiency and water conservation, which is a big deal in the distilling world. You go through a lot of water when you're making booze. They also have a tasty rye called the Artist Straight Rye, which I'm gonna be using here in a little bit. I'm here to say, check them out. In fact, I polished off one of these bottles before we had a chance to make this video and Still Austin was kind enough to send me a second bottle. So thank you, Still Austin. Now let's build. Okay, so I've already got some glassware chilling. Let's go ahead with our first version of this cocktail. Let's start with the bourbon. One and a half ounces of bourbon, half ounce of the honey syrup, and one ounce of the pink grapefruit juice. Now we can add ice and shake and double strain. We're still in the testing phase, so no need for a garnish. There we have the first brown derby. Looks kind of brown. Cheers. Mm. It's fine. It's not great. It's flat. Big flavor up front of sweet honey, and I taste the bourbon, but the grapefruit is pretty much lost. I do think that we can fix it. So first, I'm gonna swap out the bourbon for a rye. This one is also from Still Austin. This is the Artist Straight Rye, and like most ryes, it has a bit more spice than the bourbon, which is gonna offer a bit more punch. I think it's gonna be really nice. Version two. I need another shaking tin. Same build, I'm gonna keep the measurements the same. So with the rye, one and a half ounces. Same half ounce of honey, one ounce of the grapefruit juice. Add ice and shake, and double strain your cocktail into the glass. Cheers. Ooh, the rye didn't do what I wanted it to do. It's not spicy, it actually tastes more grassy, and it takes it in a different direction. I actually think that I prefer the bourbon with the honey. Fun experiment though, just different. I'm gonna go back to the bourbon and try something else, the grapefruit juice. I want a bit more of that grapefruit flavor. So now we are gonna swap out the pink grapefruit juice for white grapefruit juice. And clearly I thought of this ahead of time because I've prepped it 
and made freshly squeezed white grapefruit juice. Now in general, it tends to be less sweet than the pink grapefruit juice, a little bit more bitter on the end. And I think against that sweet honey, against that rich bourbon, it's gonna be really good. Maybe the answer. Let's build again. I like the texture that I'm getting with this amount of honey, so I'm not gonna screw around with the ratios too much. We are just going to try it with a different grapefruit juice. There we are, version three. And for the first time, it actually looks a little bit different. It's a little bit lighter. Cheers. Mm -hmm. Better. This was an improvement. The difference between the white and the pink grapefruit juice is small, but it's noticeable in this context. So we've got the sweetness up front, we definitely get the, the base spirit, and then we have the slight bitterness on the end, which is really nice. What I'm wanting in this drink is a little bit more zip, a little bit more zing in the middle. What we need is acid. Now you could, if you wanted, make an acid adjusted grapefruit juice, but I'm trying to make this easy for all of us, so I will be adding just a little bit of freshly squeezed lemon juice. Let's go ahead again with these now four ingredients and make the drink for a fourth time. But one more sip. That's better. That is better. All right, one and a half bourbon, half ounce of honey syrup, one ounce of our white grapefruit juice, and let's do quarter of an ounce of the freshly squeezed lemon juice. Just a little bit. And double strain once again. Brown Derby number four. Cheers. Significantly better. I get the sweetness of the honey up front, I have the richness of the bourbon that lasts throughout, the bitterness from the grapefruit at the end, which I really like in this drink, and I get a bright citrus note right in the middle. And it's not lemon, it actually enhances the grapefruit. At this point of the process, I like to push things a little bit further, maybe even too far, but I'm gonna try to keep this within the confines of this drink. Since we're here, why not? If it doesn't work, it doesn't work. Although I've tried it and I know that it works. For this final iteration, I am going to add a little bit of cinnamon. This is not an original idea. I'm actually borrowing this from Don the Beachcomber who used grapefruit and cinnamon in a number of his drinks and it works really well. In fact, one of his many Don's mixes was just cinnamon, sugar, and grapefruit. So instead of the honey syrup, I am going to use a cinnamon infused honey syrup. This is something that I prepped ahead of time. I made this last night. I'll leave the recipe in the description down below if you wanna try it. And let's build, same ratios, new ingredient. One and a half ounces of bourbon. Half an ounce of our cinnamon infused honey syrup. One ounce of freshly squeezed white grapefruit juice. And one quarter of an ounce of freshly squeezed lemon juice. Add ice and shake. And double strain into your chilled cocktail glass. Now, because this is our final cocktail, we are gonna give it a nice garnish. I'm using a pink grapefruit because it's pretty. Express the oils across the top, hit the sides, and lay the garnish right on top. There we have the improved and final Brown Derby. Cheers. I think that's delicious. You get a little bit of cinnamon that just kind of carries throughout the entire duration of this cocktail. It works really, really well, but the cinnamon is not overpowering. There it is, the creative process. I hope you try this at home. Have fun with it. You can do this with classics. You can do this with original cocktails. You are gonna go through a lot of booze, so it can be rather expensive, but it helps to have friends come over. They can maybe chip in, and they can also offer their input on your cocktail. So, happy mixing. Thank you for watching. Thank you, Still Austin, for sponsoring today's video. I will see you next time. Cheers. For the original brown derby, sorry, I, I say it, I put emphasis on the brown. For the original brown, <laughs> for the original brown derby cocktail, for the original brown derby, God, I'm so sorry. I've really struggled with this name. It's just called the brown derby. Nothing funny about that. That's the name of the cocktail. <laughs>